Hello, everyone. Welcome back uh, to my stream. Uh, today we're going to be doing some more tier lists. I figured we would, you know, have a little fun. Do do some do some tier list stuff. Um, my dog's in the background. Uh, I don't know if you can hear him. He's. I filled up one of those little little rubber things. Um, they fill with peanut butter, right? I gave him one of those, so he's having. He's having some fun with it. Um, yeah, he loves those. And I just took him for a walk, so he should be real tuckered out, too. So he'll he'll be falling asleep soon. But um, I figured uh, I kind of want to start with the uh, uh, some video game controllers. Um, uh, as you know, I'm, I'm a big fan of video games. Uh, you can probably tell, considering, you know, I play them for money. Uh, I'm a, I'm, I'm a pretty big fan. Dog, what are you doing? This dog is dumber than a box of rocks sometimes, I swear. One second. There you go. We have these little things next to our couches, and it keeps uh, knocking it under them. And so I have to go get it for him because he doesn't want to eat it in the kitchen next to me. So, And now he's put it underneath the stool. He's not very smart. <laughs> I'm in my kitchen uh, right now. Uh, thought about going upstairs with it, but no, I don't think I will. I think I'll just chill out here. Um, but yeah, anyways, uh, let's get started. Um, yeah, so I kind of want to start, just, let's just go in order. So with the Nintendo Switch normal controllers, right, the Joy-Cons, um, I really hate these. Um, it is a consistent theme that I do not like Nintendo all that much, um, as, and it's mostly, mostly because they're business practices, but also... Because almost all of their controllers suck. And with, with the exception of, like, two notable exceptions, and the Switch is no different. The Joy-Cons are absolute ass. Um, built for, like, a lobster. Like, any, any human that's using them is going to get carpal tunnel, plus the drift. Plus huge Joy-Con drift that they still haven't fixed and probably never will. So, Joy-Cons are going to be dead last in D tier, okay? Like, Joy-Cons are just the worst. Um, uh, let's move on to the Xbox 360 controller. This was, like, the first one I really remember using. Um, yeah, uh, I, I just have it set in B tier. I, I'm, I'm not putting it there yet. Um, as I've grown up, actually, my hands have gotten a lot bigger, and it feels a little bit anemic. And, like, the little slot where um, you put your fingers um, between the, the, the palm grips and the battery pack is kind of... It doesn't fit my fingers anymore because I have big hands. So, um, it's not as good anymore, but uh, when I was a kid, you know, it was pretty great. It was, it was very, very solid. But... Um, yeah, I'm kind of, I'm kind of glad that it's, uh, that I've kind of moved on to the, to the new Xbox One controller. It's, it's, it's better, but I'll put it in A tier because like for a kid, which is kind of the Xbox's target audience, it was pretty good and it, and it fit their hands pretty well. I, and I had a lot of good memories on it. The Duke. Oh, I love the Duke. Um, I haven't used it that recently, but it's 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 very large. Um, so that might dock some points, but I got big hands. So it's like, you know, it, it's kind of a good deal for you, you know, if you got the big hands. Um, Super Nintendo, Super Nintendo, Super Nintendo. All right. Nope. Bad. Not good. Um, better than the Switch, but those boxy-ass controllers 
are so bad for people with real hands. Like any organic being that has like bony multiple digit fingers is going to hate that kind of controller because it just doesn't work. It doesn't fit the human being's hand. Um, uh, But at the same time, it's basically the iconic video game controller, for me at least. Nowadays, it's the 360 controller um, or the GameCube controller. Feels more, um, you know, like... If you were going to make a video game controller emoji, it would either be the SNES or the, uh, uh, or the, like, either like a PlayStation 2 controller or an Xbox controller. But the SNES is very iconic. I would say maybe even more iconic than the original. But we'll get to that. Um, the PS4 controller. I really don't like the PS4 controller all that much. Um, for one simple reason. Uh, the giant, stupid, rectangle trackpad in the middle, taking up so much space and being entirely useless. Um, also, uh, it has no battery life. Like, you can't use it unplugged from the thing for more than an hour. It sucks. Um, C tier? No, C tier's too high. It's... So it won't give me carpal tunnel. So it's better than the SNES controller. So I'll give it that. Um, here, I'll move, I'll move this first because I have a joke for it, right? Genesis does. Genesis does. Genesis does what Nintendo don't. And that is having a pretty all right controller. Um, I've never had the uh, experience of really getting to use it that much, but... My God, it was a big step forward for making controllers, like, comfortable. That's all we want is to be in comfort when we game, you know? Like, there's no reason to make it super, like, uncomfortable to use. But that's what the Joy-Cons are. Because the Nintendo has to have their stupid fucking gimmicks. Um, Sega Saturn is also pretty good. Um, Just some minor... Uh, quality of life changes, um, uh, more buttons, you know, it's, it's slightly better contour. Um, yeah, not, not that much of a change, but just, you know, an update. So they're, they're kind of basically the same. Now the Wii U controller is more comfortable to use than the SNES and the Joy-Cons. God help the Joy-Cons. Um, but the gamepad thing. Why? <laughs> Just why is my question. And I am sure I won't get an answer ever because Nintendo hates to admit that they were wrong about anything. Um, sorry about that. I was just drinking some nice lemon water. Uh, Shout out to my dad for letting me take home some of his lemons. He has a, a, a lemon tree or bush. Looks more like a bush, but I think it's a tree in his uh, front yard. So he let me bring home some. So shout out to dad. Um, for, and then I brought him home and I made some nice lemon water. It tastes delicious. I wish I could share it all with you. Um, but yeah, the, the Wii U gamepad. Really? Really? I don't know about that. I don't know about that one. It's... It's all right. It's, it, it won't give you that much carpal tunnel, unlike other Nintendo products. Now, PS1 controller. Um, wait, no, that's not the PS1. No, that's not... No, that's not the PS1 controller. Um, this is the PS1 controller. I never had a PS1 actually. I was uh I was too young for that. 
but um, PS1 controller, um, it is all right. It's very iconic. It looks like two wee nunchucks <laughs> um, strapped together with a little thing in the middle, which is kind of interesting. Um, joysticks would be better, though. You know? Yeah, joysticks would be a lot better. Um, yeah. Uh, we'll put it in B tier. It's not exactly that comfortable. Uh, this one will be slightly better just because it does have the joysticks. Adds up new options. Um, the Switch Pro Controller, I like it. Um, because it's a damn sight more comfortable than using the Joy-Cons. But, um, just because you have to buy it separately... And the Switch comes with the shitty Joy-Cons, and they're, they're monetizing making your game or making their console playable. I'm going to dock it below the, uh, the Wii U gamepad. Um, now, the PS2. PS2 is very good. Not much of a change between the old one to this one, but... I like the black. The black is iconic. And, you know, it started an era. And that's kind of all you can really hope for. Now, <clears throat> now we get to the GameCube. And uh, the GameCube is pretty sick. Um, very good console. Very powerful. Um, for its small size, had some mighty good games, um, you know, some of the Star Wars uh, games for that era, that generation were very good. The only Zelda game I can tolerate, uh, Twilight Princess. Yeah, very good. Mm. I might give it an S tier. I would say it's better than the Duke. Um, certainly less heavy than the Duke. Um, the button placement is a bit weird, but you get used to it, and it's pretty fun. I like it. The, the NES controller is worse than the SNES controller. Um, it's just a fucking rectangle. No contour, no grip. Just uncomfortable to use and play with, and I don't like it. The Nintendo 64 controller... Maybe the dumbest thing in existence. Why would you give your controller a dick? It is so dumb. Mind-boggling decisions over at Nintendo. Just complete head-assery. It's so dumb. It is so stupid. Mind-bogglingly so. So, that's there. Um, the Dreamcast controller... It's like a better version of the NES controller, right? Like, I'm, I'm not putting it in detail right now. I'm just saying, like, compare it, right? Joystick, up in the top left. D-pad, bottom left. Buttons, right. Nothing in the middle. No giant penis thing to hold on to. Right? It's perfect. Well, it's not perfect. Um, it is also a, bit, a little bit heavy, and, you know, it's not the Duke. So, I'm going to... Dock at some points there. PS4 controllers better than that, but it's way better than this NES. I wish, actually, you know what? I'll, I'll, I'm not made of stone. And that one, uh, the, the PS4 controller is actually playable. These are like, they will make you feel pain when you play with them. And that, that's unacceptable. D tier is, here we'll rename it, the pain tier. Um, yeah, there we go. Um, the Xbox One controller, I would say is, is better than the, uh, better than the GameCube controller. No complaints, smooth lines. Um, I would say the original. So the one pictured 
um, the bumpers are a little stiff, but I don't know if that's mine or if that's all of them. But in later versions, um, with, that they added the the headphone jack thing as well. Um, they totally improved it, totally knocked it out of the park. Um, everything feels perfect. It's like perfectly molded from my hands, and I love that. I don't know what this one is. Um, this one is the PS3 controller, and the PS3 controller is just like slightly better than the PS2 because it has a battery, but very short battery. But it's way better than the PS4 controller because it doesn't have that giant trackpad. It's so dumb. Um, finally, we'll get to the Wiimotes, right? So the Wiimotes, um, that was my first console where I got to use it like all the time because my dad didn't like me um, using the Xbox 360 um, because the first one, or uh, yeah, because the first one red, wing, red ringed. So we... Uh, uh, so we had two. Actually, no, 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 no. The first Xbox, like, just got really, really old and died. And so he didn't let me use the 360 a lot. And then when the 360 red ringed, um, we got the PS3. And, yeah. Um, but at my mom's, my mom got us a Wii back in, you know, 2007 when it came out, when it was the hot commodity. And we were all like, oh, we're all going to play it together. Um, we didn't really, but sometimes we did. And it was pretty fun. Um, so... I do like the Wii for, for, for the old memories that I have of it. Um, and the controller, not that bad. Um, could be slightly better, but not really. Um, holding it sideways like a NES and SNES controller is um, not great. Um, Kind of not the most comfortable. When, but when you're holding it in your hand, um, the only complaint I have is the flat top kind of doesn't fit that well. But aside from that, you know, it's it's pretty solid video game console or video game controller. Um, I would say it's slightly not as good as the X Bone. Yeah, that's yeah, that's pretty much my list. You know. These are pretty good. Yeah, yeah. The, the, these three lists are, are like, yes, I like using these. Um, these ones are like, they're, they're playable and I tolerate them. Um, and then these are just ones that actually cause you physical suffering. Notice how they're all Nintendo products. So, <laughs> yeah, it's, it's not good.